I am here with Emily. Um, she's one of our coaches, and uh, she, you may have seen her in some of the videos we've been putting out um, to help folks working out at home. We've been getting a lot of video or questions from people um, asking about how to do um, cleans correctly, and so I don't want to go over too much of the um, the nitty gritty, but I want to give people enough that they can work out safely at home. Um, so the first thing is, um, we'll just say the clean's really useful if you don't have a squat rack for getting the bar onto your shoulders to do front squats, thrusters, other movements like that. And the clean itself is just a great movement um, working on explosiveness, power, and coordination. So uh, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. One of the requisite um, things that you need to do a clean correctly is to have what we call front rack position. It means getting the bar onto your shoulders. So Emily, go ahead and just pick up the bar and just bring it to your shoulders however you want. And so, one of the things we're going to see here is her elbows are nice and high, they're rotated forward. The bar is actually sitting on her shoulders, okay? And it should not be uh, resting on her collarbone. And there will actually be a contact point between the bar and her throat. So it's not choking her, but the bar is actually making contact with her throat. Um, hands are relaxed, elbows are nice and high, okay? So what's going to happen with some people is they can maintain a full grip. Can you grip that bar in? Yeah, they can maintain a pretty good full grip. A lot of folks can't um, and keep their elbows up. The most important thing here is that we maintain that contact with the bar and the shoulders. Okay, go ahead and relax for me. If you don't have the ability to get your, uh, the bar onto your shoulders in that front rack position, that's okay. Um, but just know that you should probably work toward that, um, work some mobility things so that you can eventually get that. Um, when we do the clean, we want to keep it simple. So we're going to start first by having her demonstrate whether or not she can do a squat. Okay, so I'm going to have her just face her feet um, and then go ahead and just do three air squats for me. One, two, three. Great. Crease of the hips below the knee. It's great. Chest stays nice and high. Really good. Okay. Now go ahead and pick up the bar again, Em. And then just bring it up to your shoulders. And now I'm gonna have her do three front squats here, just again, to make sure that she can actually get into that squat. Ready, go. Great. And bring the bar back down. It's awesome. So now she's demonstrated that she can rack the bar on her shoulders. She's demonstrated that she can squat with no load. And she's demonstrated that she can squat with a little bit of load. Okay, so now we're gonna do a couple drills. Um, again, we wanna keep it really simple. Uh, so the first one is just going to be kind of a footwork landing drill. So I want her to start with her feet right underneath her, uh, her hips, and then she's just going to do a little bit of a dip, jump, and land in a full squat. Ready, go, and stand, reset, ready, go, stand, and reset. Good. Let's go ahead and pick up that bar, and let's go ahead and uh, just do high hang clean. Ready, go. And reset. Ready, go. Stand and reset. Good. So that's going to be the starting place for most people when they're trying to do a clean. Is um, that one right there called high hang clean? Some people call it a hip clean. A lot of different names for it. Um, basically, meaning I don't want you pulling from the ground. I don't want you pulling from your knees yet until you've mastered that right there. Okay. Another little drill you can do, we call it a pull under or a tall clean. Be standing on your toes, okay, nice and tall. There's no jump here, all she's gonna do is drop and pull under. Stand, reset. One more time, nice and tall, go. Stand and reset, good. Relax, good. Once you've mastered the high hang clean, uh, then we can start to move um, to pulling from other places, okay? so. Let's just show those positions. So I'm go ahead and bring that bar up to uh, just double step. Good. Um, the high hang position uh, is knees slightly bent. Okay. Your torso stays vertical. Okay. And the bar is in contact with the mid to high thigh. Okay. So we want to make sure we have that nice contact point. Um, and then go now to the hang. And notice that the shins at this point are vertical. Okay. Bar is. Um, pulled into the body, and her shoulders are actually in front of the bar, okay? If we drew perpendicular line down from her shoulder, it'd be actually in front of the bar, so she's actively using her back to pull that bar into her body, okay? Now go back to the high hang, and stand up. 
One more time, high hang, and let's do a clean, go. And reset, and let's go high hang. Now go to the hang, and do a clean. Stand, and reset, good. Let's go one more time, and I want you guys to look for uh, the bar path as it comes up from her knees up her mid thigh stays really close to her body um, and then makes contact with her body in that upper thigh position. Ready? High hang, hang, and go. Stand and relax. Good. Cool. That's all we're going to do right now. Just wanted to do a really quick video uh, how to do the clean. If you can't do that with a 35 pound bar or 45 pound bar, um, then you're not ready to load it yet. Okay. If you load um, and you have improper form, then all you're going to do is practice bad habits. So start with a nice empty bar, work on your mechanics. As your mechanics get better, um, then you can start to load and do things for speed. Um, if you have questions, shoot us an email. Um, if you would like to see other videos, let us know, um, especially if there's technique things that you're wondering about. Um, this video is really being done because I had some people ask for help on their cleans. Uh, so if you need help, uh, let us know. Have a good day. Bye.